One, two, three. Thirds. Very pleasant sounding intervals. Stretch them even wider, an octave wider in fact. So the C goes from there down to the bottom. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tenths sound even better. And tenths are what we use to make stride piano. piano uses tenths in the accompaniment and it's not easy but once you get the hang of it it becomes more natural and more easy if you'd like to see what I'm doing come over to the piano and I'll show you how to get those tenths right where we would normally play a chord of C with its alternating bass C to G look G bass just like on an organ on the very first beat we play C striding up to E and I'm using the sustain pedal to tie the two sounds together. So C and I'm reaching across and then play the chord on the second beat. So one, two, then release the pedal, the sustain pedal and just play the ordinary alternating bass as before. So let's just have a couple of bars of C major. Let's change to the chord of F. Now the chord of F, we've got F goes up 10 to A. There's 8, 9, 10. So we've got the chord F with the little finger and the chord of F goes up to A. Now the ordinary alternating bass. Back to C. Missed it. Try again. There we go. And here's a really good uh, exercise for target practice, is to go from C next door to D minor, next door to E minor, and then back again to D minor. It's a great exercise for distance, for target practice. Let's go from C and then just go up a white note every time. C to D minor, D minor, E minor, and back to D minor. It's almost an introduction. Sounds a bit like an introduction. Yep. Sure does. Now look what I'm doing. I'm putting in all three notes of a C chord. So instead of just doing the tenth, we've got C and D. I'm putting the G in on the way up. Some people find this easier, especially with the waltz time. So what we're doing there is we're playing the full chord of C on the first beat, and then on the other two beats I'm playing the ordinary chord. And then just an ordinary G chord, G7, G7. Now I'll have an F. Roll through the F chord. F, C, A. Now let's roll through a G chord. G, D, B. So you see what we're doing is using the chord, but we're splitting the chord right as wide as it'll go. using the pedal. Don't over pedal. Over pedaling is where you forget to release the sustain pedal and you end up with a, a mishmash of sound. 
that sounds awful. So don't forget when you've played the first chord, release the pedal and put it down again for the next chord. going from the bottom up to the top. Our friend, the well-known pianist Russ Conway, he used to go the opposite direction. Instead of going from bottom to top with his stride, he used to go from top to bottom, still using the pedal and you need a very strong little finger. It's good because it emphasises the harmony of the tenths. So there we are from top to bottom. So let's try that same exercise, the C, D minor, E minor trick, and see if it works with the Russ Conway top to bottom style. <laughs> there we go, it's not easy, but it takes a bit of target practice to do it. I always think it's easier to go from bottom to top and especially to stride over all the notes C, G and D. See you very soon.